Hey everyone, it's Jessica. Welcome back to my channel. I'm trying a new intro. What do we think? Jess? Jessica? Not quite sure what I want to do yet. I have on a white striped shirt and some black overalls because I felt like it was Beetlejuice-esque. Today, in case you couldn't tell by the intro or the title, we are playing with some new makeup, the Melt Beetlejuice Collection. Guys, when I tell you I'm excited, I mean I'm excited. Look at this beautiful, beautiful color story. I have quite a few of the products from the collection in front of me, so I am going to go through and share all of the things that I picked up as well as how I created this look on my face today. But before we jump into the video, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any more of my new makeup tutorials and looks. So I did pick up about half of the collection total. There are two eyeliners. I'm gonna just open everything up real quick because everything is so cute. This packaging gives me absolute life. So this is the first gel liner. This is called 125 Years and this one is more of kind of like an ashy gray. I'm really excited to try this formula. This has actually been a formula I've been meaning to try from Melt for a long time. Um, and then the other shade I picked up is called the Afterlife, which is a kind of like neon greenish yellow. I've noticed it picks up more yellow on camera for a lot of people, but it's actually a pretty true lime green. So I'm excited about that. I did pick up two lip products, uh, one Electric Lip Paint, and this is in the shade, uh, what shade did I grab? Strange and Unusual, which is this nice bright metallic pink. I thought this would be fun. I don't really have a lot of lipsticks like this in my collection already. And then I also picked up an iridescent lipstick. This is just the cream lipstick formula. And look at this packaging. It's neon green. It is gorgeous. And then the color itself is actually this pretty, I don't even know what you would call this, like a bright mauve color. Also, this lipstick smells amazing. I'm so excited to try this. I also picked up the Lydia brush set. This is so cute. It's like a faux leather. It has the white and black stripes inside. And then it also has the sandworm embossed on the packaging. And then the brushes themselves have this really pretty kind of like lace design with Lydia on it. And each of them are split 50-50 white and black. So I'm super excited about these. Y'all know I love my brushes. And last but not least, we do have both palettes. I did want to pick up both of them. And I just am so blown away by the detail in this. The unit cartons themselves are just absolutely beautiful. And then you open them up and they say little quotes from the movie, which is super cute. So this is the Recently Deceased palette. Also, the little plastic covers inside are actually scenes from the movie. I don't know if you can even see it well on camera, but even my Mr. Mans over here thought that was pretty cool. And that's coming from a guy that don't care about makeup. So, I'm just saying, Mel, you did something right, okay? We got non-makeup lovers in this household that are impressed with this collection. So here's the waiting room palette unit carton, and then of course, we have the waiting room palette itself with the girl that's cut in half on the couch. I was honestly a little nervous picking these palettes up. I thought that the pan sizes of these shadows were actually going to be a lot smaller than they were. So I am very impressed with the amount of product you're getting for the price point and just the overall aesthetic of the collection. Melt is one of those brands that continuously puts so much effort into their collections. Last year we had the Day of the Dead More Chain Vita palette, which phenomenal, still two of my favorites. And then of course now this, like, Melt is easily my favorite brand of all time as of this year. I have tried quite a few things from them and I'm just thoroughly impressed by everything. So today for the look, I think I want to go into the recently deceased palette. I will of course be doing a video using the waiting room palette later on and then I do want to do a palette bingo using a couple shades from each palette. I thought that would be fun. But for now let's just go ahead and focus on this. As usual I'm going to prime my eyelids with my Tarte Shape Tape concealer. I am using the shade Fair Beige today. I kind of toggle between this one and a couple other shades. This is the one I've reached for today. So I'm just literally gonna dot each eyelid just a little bit, something like that. I'm almost out of this actually. I just ran out of my foundation today too. My Lancome Tanti Dole, I ran out of that today. And now I'm running out of concealer. Like 
I move in eight days. I do not have money to be buying more foundation. Y'all don't even know how excited I am. I got like no sleep last night. I had a migraine, so I took Excedrin, and Excedrin has caffeine in it, okay? And I passed out for like an hour, and then I woke up at like 11, and I was up until 5 o'clock this morning. <sighs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Quarantine is getting to me. Okay, so I think the look I want to go for is like a purple smoked out with lime cut crease, maybe some winged liner. I might even pull lashes out today. It's serious when I pull lashes out. I do want to try the Lydia brush set, so I'm going in, these don't have numbers, I'm going in with this like fluffy tapered blending brush, and I'm going into this first shade, or I guess this last shade, Bio Exorcist. It is the lighter of the two purples. <gasps> Look at that. <gasps> Y'all, I'm impressed. So I, uh, <laughs> Sorry, I don't even know what that was. I am mega excited. Just patting it in the general shape I want it. And then I'm gonna flip that brush around. This is pretty easy because it has a white and black side. And then the side with minimal to no product, I am just lightly going to do circular motions around the shape. Okay, I really like this shade. This brush is giving me more of a diffused look than I want, so I might actually pick up a different brush real quick. Oh, yes, pigment. Okay, see, look at that. That, ooh, I just got some on my nose. That, girl, that is stunning. I do believe the palettes themselves are available on Sephora's website as of right now, and I believe they are still available on Melt's website. Some of the other items um, I think are sold out, but I will leave the link to Sephora and Melt's websites down below. I've already packed the majority of my makeup because like I said, we move in like literally eight days and I've packed the majority of my makeup. So I didn't get to use some of the products that I wanted to use on my face with this look, but I guess that just means I'm going to have to play with it some more. What do you guys think? Next I'm taking a Morphe M456 and we are going into this darker purple matte shade called Lost Souls. Also I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see this but it actually has like the little faces imprinted on the shade. So I'm just going to pat this on the outer third. I'm actually going to bring it all the way in because we are cutting the crease but just starting on the outer third to give it the most pigment, and then once a lot of that pigment is off my brush, sweeping it towards the inner corner. Now that I've laid just a nice foundation down, I'm gonna go back in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer on a concealer brush. I'm gonna cut the crease, and then we're gonna do some magic with the green colors. I'm thinking, here's my here's my game plan. I wanna go in with this shimmer Neurotic in the inner third, meet in the middle with Beetlegeist, this matte lime shade, and then go back into the purples to kind of blend everything together. That's kind of my game plan, we'll start with that. <laughs> For both shades, I'm going in with the Anastasia brushes that come with the ABH palettes. These are honestly some of my favorite brushes to use for shimmers, so that is why I'm going to be using these. Okay, so starting in Neurotic, the Lime Shimmer, this <laughs> looks very promising. I'm gonna start in the, oh, okay, do you guys see this? Do you see the shimmer on my eyelid? You could probably see this from Mars. Okay, I guess we're gonna try the matte shade Beetlegeist. That also looks very, very pigmented on my brush. So I'm gonna just tap it in place. Go over everything again on the lid with that shimmer just to kind of blend the matte Next, I'm going in with this Morphe brush. This is an M507 from the Pride Collection. Going back in with that dark matte purple Lost Souls. And I'm just going to kind of very gently try and blend this matte green into the purple. 
I do wish there was like an even deeper shade in this palette that wasn't a shimmer because, oopsies, Paranormal, this dark shimmer right here I think would be the darkest shade in the palette. And it is a pretty color, but I don't usually like to deepen up my crease with a shimmer. So right in this outer portion on both lids where that green is meeting the purple, they are blending together seamlessly. Um, it does create kind of like a muddy brown shade, but that's just basic color theory. You mix a purple with a green, it's going to create a PP color. Let's go ahead and do lower lash line. Uh, starting just in that same Morphe, what is this, M507, going in with the light purple Bio Exorcist. So I'm going to just uh, do a pretty smoked out lower lash, I think. Ooh, maybe not that smoky. Going into this Melt Lydia brush back into Lost Souls. Again, that matte dark purple. Going to try and be as gentle as possible and get this on my lash line pretty close. I'm going in with my Benefit Roller Liner. I think I'm gonna do a wing. Don't worry, I will try out the Melt Gel Liners in my Waiting Room palette video, um, but I really think this needs a black wing. Okay, it's not perfect, but I think it's as good as it's going to get without me absolutely being ludicrous about it. I'm trying to be better. And we're back. Uh, this is the look completed. What do you guys think? I threw on a pair of lashes. Today I'm wearing my favorite lashes, ColourPop Shorty. As a whole, I really do like the look. I think all of the products blended amazingly. They just, I didn't expect anything less from Melt. They just always put so much thought into their collections. If a guy that doesn't really care about makeup as a general whole can find unique details about this collection. I think it's safe to say that Melt really did their job and I'm super, super pleased with how it turned out. I wish I could have gotten everything, but unfortunately I'm poor, so that's not gonna happen. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my video using the Waiting Room Palette and some of the other products from this collection. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. It helps me know I am doing a good job. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye!